Hi besties, in this video I'll be teaching you my favorite mosa recipe that everyone loves. It's so delicious. Please watch this video to the end and remember to subscribe. Thank you. All our ingredients have been pre-measured and I've sifted the flour also. In this bowl, I'm going to add in my salt, my pepper and my nutmeg powder. I'm going to add in my sugar and I'm going to give this a mix. You just want to stir everything to combine before adding in your yeast like I'd always say I prefer to stir everything before adding my yeast so now I'm going to pour in my yeast I'm going to give that a stir also it's not compulsory I just did that and I have my mashed ripe bananas you're going to add that into it now for your bananas you want to make sure if you're using 250 grams of flour you are using 250 grams of mashed bananas ripe bananas or you use 300 but nothing less than that so you're, you're doing a ratio one to one and you just want to stir this a bit or mix it a little bit so that you know the amount of water you're adding in just add your water gradually to avoid it getting watery so for my mosa recipe i prefer it this way now some people use ratio two to one which is if you're using 250 grams of flour some people use 500 grams of the bananas but i don't like the mosa that is too mushy i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so i do the ratio one to one you can increase it if you want it you know more of the bananas and some people also use plantain and i believe when you're using the plantain because it's sweeter than banana just reduce the quantity of your sugar a little bit so right now i'm just mixing gradually you can see i poured my water gradually and i'm also using my spatula to just mix it in because for mosa you don't need you don't need too much force i mean when it comes to mosa it's not like puff puff that you have to mix the butter till it's stretchy for mosa you don't need too much force so just mix it gradually and we've got into the perfect consistency you can see it's thick it's not runny once it proofs it to get softer so you don't want it you don't want it runny from the beginning you don't want it too watery from the beginning and this is the consistency we are going for so right now i'm just beating in a little more air into the butter and after which i'm going to grab my cover and i'll cover it now it's always better to cover with maybe cling film or airtight container is always preferable for for mosa puff puff or anything you just want to proof like this but i i know it will proof because my place was warm and after proofing you can see it doubled in size you can double or even triple in size but after proofing all you need to do is just mix a little bit so i don't mix the whole of my butter after it has proofed i just mix the little bit i'm about to scoop into the oil i've taught you how to check when your oil is hot in my previous video my pop-up video and if you were in there it's just to sprinkle in some flour once it sizzles your oil is hot enough so you just want to scoop it like this on like puff puff and you just want to keep stirring and turning and turning now if you want your mustard to be really dark brown you can allow it fry for longer but for me this color is completely fine for me so anyone i find that is brown or is done i'll just take it out of the heat and i'll be showing you at the end of this um video what the mosa looks like it was so delicious very tasty this mosa recipe is one favorite of mine everybody loves it everyone keeps complimenting it and i'm very sure that you will like it if you also try it so i've done the first batch and i'm just doing the second batch you can see how i'm just dropping it into the oil no drama but you know you can also make it more rounded if you want to if you want it more rounded so you can use that other puff puff style of scooping it and pressing with your fist and your index finger if you don't want this but for mosa mosa is very forgiving and it's a family's delight everyone would always love mosa your children your family your friends will always love it and yeah that's pretty much it i'm just taking out everyone that is done inside the hot oil and you can see our oil is not too hot but it is hot enough to fry the mosa so you need the right temperature of oil and this is all we got from the mosa we made with 250 grams of flour and yeah because this size is big 
that's why we had less quantity you can see what it looks like on the inside you can see the chunks of banana inside and the perfect texture thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video bye